You will go before me. You will never leave me. In Isaiah chapter 11, um, verse 2 and 3, let me read the verse 1, you understand it better. So he said that there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Then look at verse 2. Say, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. You see? This is Jesus. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. He said that the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. So these are all various dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You see, when the Holy Spirit is operating in your life, you become a star. And when you are a star, you will be selected. And when you are selected, it goes with privileges. Before I continue with Isaiah 11, I want to show you a scripture in Daniel chapter 5 verse 11. There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. You see, the person describing this, they didn't know about the Holy Spirit. And she even described it as holy gods. And in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods was found in him, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say, thy father, made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. Amen. Daniel became a star. He became a master. Why? Because there was an excellent spirit in him. Look at verse 12. For as much as an excellent spirit, you see, and knowledge, and understanding, interpreting of dreams, and shewing of hard sentences, and dissolving of doubts, were found in the same Daniel. Whom the king named Belteshazzar. Now let Daniel be called. But the thing that can make you a star is the Holy Spirit. 